Hello everyone, today we are going to be building a drill for the create mod, um, and uh, this drill is very easily scalable, um, you can build it very small if you want to, you can build it really large, you can make it like a chunk big to do really large mining, although it might be laggy a little bit, um, and uh, the one that I'll be showing you today is really scalable, like it's just a very basic, like, if you look up a tutorial you'll find, like, this exact drill. But, um, I just thought that it would be a good idea to, uh, just have a tutorial out there for people, uh, so that I get views. And then, if, if I get views, I can expand to more people. Um, so this is a very, very basic, um, drill. This is probably, like, the first drill that you'll have if you don't already have a bunch of iron. Um, and you'll want to make sure that you have rail here. Um, but... I like to have them, uh, like, extended out a few blocks just so that I could fit everything in. So, um, we'll probably want, um, a, uh, drill. A mechanical drill. Um, and the recipe for mechanical drill is a andesite casing, um, one iron ingot, and three iron sheets. Um, and this is, like, the, again, this is the most, like, basic thing that you can find out there. Um, but there are a few little things that I like to do to add to it. Um, anyway, you want right there, um, I like them like this so that I could just see the sides. You'll want to have that there. This here. Um, and, uh, like, very basic storage, like that. And, you know, make sure you want to have your glue on you because... Um, you want to make sure that everything will be connected once you, uh, once you have it. So, you'll want to make sure, you, you, you want to make sure not to waste glue, so don't overuse glue, um, when you're building. Uh, but you will want to have a bunch of it. And make sure you don't apply it to the ground or anywhere underneath, so that you don't waste anything. And, um... You'll want to have rails in here. Um, and then there's a few other things that I like to do, but this is the very basic, like, drill that you can build. That will just go forwards. Um, but then we reach an issue, so I'm going to pick it up. So, we see right here that we have a chasm. So, usually you might just want to, like, build over it before it gets there, but... We're out in the open, in the underground, where, you, where you'll usually be mining um, in the caves. There won't be time for you to do uh, to go through. So what I like to do is I like to break this block right here. I like to place a deployer like so. And then it's down. And then whatever block is most common, like if you're down on deep slate level, you'll want to place cobble deep slate in here. But for today's video purpose, I'm going to place cobblestone. Um, and you'll want to have a, at least a stack of cobblestone or whatever block you're using. Um, and then how it works is it will go forwards. And if it reaches something like this, I'll just make it, I'll just get rid of the blocks that I had. It'll go forward. And if it goes over a chasm like that, it'll place a cobblestone or something. Um, and um, one thing that it does do is it slows down quite a bit sometimes. Um, and... The, I think there's a few fixes for that. I haven't found, like, a consistent fix. You might want to just have, like, the back be a little longer, I think, is what's worked for me a bit. Um, and whenever you edit it, make sure that you uh, reapply glue. Um, so it looks like it's going a bit faster right now. And if you just want to, uh, like... Um, What's the word? Uh, if, if, if you just want to follow it or, like, stand on it, then that's fine. Um, usually you won't be mining this high, so you'll... If you want to stand on it, you probably want to have a 5x5 five five or a 4x3 or any kind of variation of that. Um, and this drill, as I said earlier, is very easily scalable. Um, so we put it right here, and I'm just like, well, I have enough iron that I could probably make it very much larger. So then you can have, I, I recommend not using even numbers, um, I recommend doing like a 5x5 five five or like a 7x7, seven seven because having like a 2x2, two two, that would look weird and like offset, 
um, and having it like this just makes it look a lot better in my opinion and then you can like activate it and there now it's a it's like a five by five and you can do like a bunch of mining um, and uh, I, I have one in the create mod server that I'm currently playing on and it is a lifesaver when it comes to mining um, now one of the things that I do find a little bit annoying is that right now while I'm recording this video it's not doing okay I think I figured out what's wrong did I um I think I did so what is going wrong is that you probably don't want to have um uh, whoops wrong contraption um it's probably this one right here you don't want to have um this as close as it is so you want to have it moved back to like here um and um maybe even further back um so that it doesn't break the one that it's on while it's moving which is the problem that i was having um so you'll want to have it like this make sure you do the glue thing like i said um and then if you activate it it should work um and one thing that is a uh, good with with mechanical plows like this is that um it'll be you know plowing the ground behind you if you're on dirt so you can make an automatic like crop planter if you want with the uh, plows um anyway it's uh doing whatever it's doing right now um it obviously won't do this when it's working but um I mean, this seems to be working pretty well. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I hope this that this tutorial uh, helped with whatever you were trying to do. And uh, again, thank you for watching.